Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Would you please click the follow button on my Facebook page? Also, subscribe on my YouTube channel, Hutch's Weather. Hey, we're tracking storms today that, once again, will have a chance of all modes of severe weather. Here's the latest on that track that you see here coming up in this version of Hutch's Weather. But first, a quick message from Robert Gibbons' sons. If you have a cool spot in your home or office, a ductless mini split may be the right system for you. It's quality Bryant equipment, whatever it takes, and it comes with up to $2,000 in a tax rebate. Call Robert Gibbons' sons today. Here's a look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. First and foremost, looking at the region, we can see some widespread storms blowing out of Wyoming into western South Dakota. There'll be a risk there. And also, this activity here, very volatile and very windy, but let's take a look at that track just a little bit closer. So as you've seen here, the storms are going to be moving from west to east and Fargo's very close to the track of these cells. But as we step through time and zoom in the map just a little bit closer to the FM area and Minnesota in the affected area, we'll have a couple of areas of concern. Let's get started. As we go into the afternoon, we're starting at two. Those storms should fire around the dinner hour here in southeast North Dakota into Lakes Country. Now, this may not fire off exactly where you see it here, but this is the best chance for seeing some storms develop. It's going to be hot, it's going to be humid, and the air will have plenty of moisture and fuel in it to fuel thunderstorms. Also, a, a chance at a few storms on this particular model firing up north of Grand Forks moving in. Now, the risk of severe up there a little bit lower than down in the south, but it's not zero either. When they first start, hail, huge hail, again, possible, and tornadoes. And we'll show you that risk area in another video that you can see right up here with regards to the Storm Prediction Center's analysis of that. Here we go. As we step through time into the early evening hours, that's six o'clock. Here is as we go into the seven o'clock time frame, moving out through Lakes Country, Otter Tail County, Fergus Falls, Detroit Lakes. You'll be in the path of these storms, but mainly on the northern fringes of them as they continue to advance east. Fergus Falls, Alexandria, if you're in Elbow Lake or if you're in Grant County, all the way down towards Morris. Benson, Madison, and the Sisseton area, as well as Richland County there at the Chahinka Pazoo, a chance for some early evening storms. These will quickly uh, congeal and push off into central Minnesota lakes country from Brainerd and down to St. Cloud, Little Falls. All of you seeing that chance as we go through the 7 to 9 p.m. time frame. And then as we head towards 10, look at this backward C-shape. Very gusty winds pick, making their way into the Twin Cities and in the dark hours. Now, we could see some storms on the backside of this that evolve. I'll be here to cover that. But I do have to say, if you count on Hutch for weather, today I have a family event. It's a celebration of life. I may not be there when these storms evolve, so make sure you stay informed any way you can. Check back with Hutch'sWeather.com, though, for me going live and right here on Facebook and on YouTube as well. So I'll have updates as we go through the evening and late night hours. You can count on me right here on Hutch's Weather. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following. And most of all, enjoy your day, but be weather aware into the afternoon and evening. All modes of severe weather, large hail, a few tornadoes, some could be strong, gusty straight line winds, the threats.